Hello everybody, today I'm going to be doing a quick video about the gradient annotator. I'm going into this video, I'm just assuming that you know a little bit about gradients, and so I'm not going to go into super depth about gradients, how they work, but hopefully just teach you some quick tips to help you along your way as you're creating gradients in your artwork, um, and how to utilize the gradient annotator, because it's much more efficient, at least I think so, than using uh, the gradient box right here. Um, so what I'm going to do is I have this character that I created for a game, a uh, Chinese philosopher, and he has no gradients on him right now. And so let's add a gradient to his arm here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select this arm with the selection tool. And as you can see um, down here, it has highlighted the current shape that's selected as its color. Um, what I want to do is I want to take that and drag it into a folder up in my swatches panel. So there it is up there. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit this button right here, create a new swatch. I get this new swatch dialog box. And what I want to do is hit HSB because I want to make a light and a dark version for my gradient. So I'm just going to bring down black a little bit, hit OK. And now you can see it's created that new swatch in my swatch panel and I still have my old swatch with it. Okay, so what we're going to do is select that arm and I'm going to hit the gradient button down here to activate that gradient. As you can see by default, it's grayscale. I don't want that, I'm gonna use my new colors. And so I'm going to drag my light color into the light part and my dark color into the darker swatch. And now I have this nice gradient. Okay, so I do not like using this gradient box. It's a little more difficult. I like using the gradient annotator. And so what we're going to do, I'm just gonna get rid of this altogether. Make sure that item is selected, and I'm gonna hit G, and that's gonna bring up my gradient annotator. Basically, it's that same bar that I saw in the gradient window there, um, but now it's on the object, so I can see it much better. Now, sometimes, and here's one of the re main reasons I made this video, that will not show. You might notice that you're trying to bring up the gradient annotator, and you're hitting G, and it's not showing. Now, the reason that that happens is because the item is grouped. I just hit Command G or Control G on your PC to group this arm and as you can see the gradient annotator disappeared. Why it does that? I'm not really too sure why, but for the longest time I couldn't figure out why my gradient annotator would sometimes be dis disappearing. And some of you might have that same problem. So watch what happens now when I hit Command Shift G to ungroup and I hit G and my gradient annotator comes back. Um, so if any of you have ever been wondering about that or if you're trying to bring up the gradient annotator and it's not working, make sure that you, your object is ungrouped or it's not gonna show. And just some quick tips. Um, some of you might be familiar with the gradient annotator but some might not. You can do a lot of cool things with this. Um, you could take the gradient annotator if you put your cursor over near the side there, you could actually get a rotation tool so where you could flip that and you could drag it along. That way you don't have to go by the numbers in the gradient window. Um, it's really nice. You could also move the swatches on the slider bar, create that however you want, and the, that, that middle banding uh, slider is also available. Um, so hopefully you've learned just a few things maybe about the gradient annotator. I've had a couple people before talk, when, talk to them about gradients, they tell me they couldn't find the gradient annotator and why that was. Well, hopefully this helps out a few people. So if you're not seeing that gradient annotator when you hit G like this, what you have to do is make sure you hit Command Shift G to ungroup it, or you can select that item and go up to Edit Ungroup. I believe that's in here. I never. Object, that's what it is, ungroup. I never go up here because I always use shortcuts. But if you can't remember the shortcut, that's where it is, object, ungroup. And then you will see your gradient annotator and all will be happy. So I hope that helps and I'm looking forward to hearing some more of your comments and praises and I wanna see some of your awesome artwork. Okay, bye-bye.